hello guys and welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to simply show you guys how you can mock up your logo design using your android your smartphone be it an android or an iphone with the website photo p all right so if you are just joining us for the first time and um you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe share the video and like the video if the vi this video really helps you learn how to mock up your design easily on your smartphone without the need of a laptop so i've actually made a video on this before but i keep getting these complaints um keep getting this comment that they don't really understand how can i get psd mockups how can i do this how can i find layers so in this video i will totally explain everything for you guys so you understand it so the site we'll be using is photop.com so i'll head over to photop.com so actually you can use any of your browser to um visit this website but i'll recommend you to use chrome because it's chrome I'm using right now and based on my experience using chrome is better than any other browser all right so the next thing i'm going to do from here is to import the psd mockup i want to use to mock up my design so psd mockups are those already made um photoshop um projects that you can use to edit your designs okay so sites in which you can get all this mock-up are um freepeak.com psdfiles.com and some other sites just have to search it online on google and you will see several sites to get it free so now let's get back to um the tutorial what i'm going to do here is to come over to this left side and i'll click on files and then i'll click on open this open is for you to open those psd mock-ups you've downloaded that you want to use to reflect your design that you've made so before clicking on this open you must ensure that you already have a psd mockup you want to use so i'll click on open and um, this will lead me to my file storage where i will get to import the psd mockup and for this tutorial i'll be using the 3d glass window mockup so i'll go over to my download and then i'll pick the 3d glass so remember if you are looking at this 3d glass you will you will be seeing three different files so this one that um that looks like uh, a pdf um file that is the one you'll be importing so for better clarification you can run, long press on this and then you check if it is a psd file then once you are sure that it's a psd file you can import so this is a jpeg file and this is a license of the 3d glass mockup so this jpeg file is not editable the only one that is editable is this 3d glass um psd file sorry psd file so i'm going to click on this and then i'll wait while it loads so this usually takes a while depending on um the ram of your phone so the higher the ram the faster the loading okay as you can see we it has um totally loaded the next thing i'm going to do is to head over to the right side and this three document icon which is called the layer i'm going to click on this and then the designs will and the design layers will be shown okay and then if you are unable to get these layers all you have to do is to come above here on top of this place and you find the windows and then you make sure that this layer icon this layer icon is enabled so if you can't find layers directly you come over here and enable it and then you get to see layers okay so the next thing now is to click um here back and then you will see a place um that is um labeled this you see layer that is labeled place your logo your design here so those are the um place you use those are the layers you use to place your design so it can reflect with the mock-up whatever mock-up you want to use so this works for every any mock-up you you definitely see a place titled place your logo or design here this and that okay so if you check you see um a tiny box in this um a tiny square in this place your logo so that is the square you're going to be clicking twice double click on it 
So once you double click, it will open up another layer for you where you get to place your logo. So if I'm to click on this layer back, you see the initial design. All I have to do from here is to hide this initial design since I don't need this. What I want to use is my own design, the design I made myself. So I will click on this eye icon. This eye icon hides it. And then once you click on it again, it enables it, as you can see. So I don't need this. So I'm just going to hide this. Then next step is to go over to your files and then import your design that you must have made with either Pixel Lab, Photoshop, or any other designing software. But what we're using in this um, channel is Pixel Lab. So you must have created your design before trying to mock it up. Okay, so I'm going to click on files and this time around, I'm not going to click on open and I'm not going to click on new. All I have to do is to click on open and place and then I will search for my design. So and usually the design to place must be um, a PNG file without a background. So you can get your um, your designs to look good, all right? Okay. So this is what I'm going to be using. All right? So you just need, if you want to increase this, you have to increase it so your design will appear bigger and larger. So I'm going to um, hold this and then draw it. So you just need to hold any of the size and draw it to fit the area. So this can appear bold. If your design is bold, it um relays the um the vision is relates it gives a better uh, it makes it attractive. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is to click on files and then I'll save this as smart object. Once I've saved a smart object. So the people then work on the design and then apply all the filters, all the blending, all the effects used on our mockup on the design we've just placed. So we just need to wait while Photopea works on it. As you can see, Photopea has done the job already. So all we need to do now is to see our design that has been mocked up. Okay, I'm going to click on this 3D glass over here. So I'm going to double tab here so you can see this. Very well. I'm just going to click it once, just for the sake of the tutorial that I clicked it like three times. So you just need to click it once. And then you'll see that your design has the work done. All right. So all you need to do now is to click on file and then save your design. So I'm going to click on files and then export as and I'll choose JPG. And then I'll save. All right, guys. So if this video really helps you understand how to go about mocking up your designs using um, your smartphone. Kindly appreciate my efforts by subscribing to the channel, liking the video by giving a thumbs up, and then sharing to your friends, right? So I'm going to click on save now, and then our design is saved, okay? So just need to download it, and that's all. So thank you guys for watching, and see you all in my next tutorial.